your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are always, always happy to have Chef Serge here with us in studio cooking up another amazing dish. I walked in and I was like, oh my God, it this smells it. incredible. What are you making here? Well, part of our tour around the Mediterranean, we went to Greece today. And right. uh, we're going to start with our shrimp saganaki. Saganaki is what, what they call a fry pan. And anything they, they do in a, in a fry pan in Greece, they call kind of call it, use that name, saganaki, in different places. Okay, yeah, Reminds me. What is that? Oh, yeah. It's, it's one of those dishes that I, I, I actually remember when, when mm -hmm. I used to really travel a lot of, uh, to Greece and uh, try to come up with something where I kind of brought back childhood memories, shall we put that, let's put it that way. Yeah. We started with a little bit of onions and bell okay. peppers right here. All right. And you saute them for about two, three minutes. Um, and then you have the shrimp that's peeled? It's peeled and deveined. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what that goes uh, in, in, uh, in the last minute, try to get it done. Because uh, they cook pretty fast. It does. It does. It, it cooks really, really fast. So once we get this, uh, basically about two to three minutes. But because of TV, we got to rush things uh, yeah. as normal. Oh, garlic. Add the, the garlic. garlic. Absolutely. Must. And again, you get some. I'm using. Uh, usually, they use heirloom tomatoes, but in uh, in in this dish, particular dish. But I really okay. like those. That's I saw those great tomatoes, and they look really good, and they were <laughs> really really nice this time of year. Yeah, it looks so healthy too. It is. It is, and it's, it's olive oil. Started with olive oil, by the way, and we we, mm -hmm. we basically cook, cook this for about three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Okay. And until it, it, it gets to the point, and then we switch pans because we got to do the shrimp. Okay. And the shrimp is basically right peeling right. the vein and traditionally and the, the pan pan's not very hot right now but it mm -hmm. will be in just a minute a little bit of salt and pepper on there mm -hmm. and we're going to add the salt and pepper and a little bit of pepper and go ahead and stir it up a little bit and it's going to go ahead and start taking off in just that a looks second good. and and then last you but have not least, cheese as well we got cheese. We'll put the cheese. What kind Basically, is that? what it does, it is feta cheese. Okay. After you finish uh, sauteing your shrimp, you put it in there. You let it cook. You deglaze this pan with a little bit of fish stock, and fish stock is really fish easy stock. to make. Uh, you make it basically. Well, if you have a peel, you get the peels and all that, and you put it in a little bit of celery and and uh, and a little bit of onions and basically all those uh, little uh, the piece, the pieces of the shrimp, and then you just bay let it boil for a little bit with a little bit of bay leaf. Is that what gives it the flavor? It would you say, or just everything all together? Everything all together. I mean, this here does the thing, but the last but not least, uh, it's called ouzo. Ouzo is a traditional licorice uh, alcohol that uh, basically it, it, it's in Greece. Okay. And last minute, basically, you as soon as everything's done, you add it in there for Where just you get those? 30 seconds. Uh, Uzo, mm -hmm. you pretty much can get it any any uh, any of those places. It's kind of like a sambuco. Okay. Uh, you know, you got Uzo in Greece, yeah. sambuco in Italy. You got uh, you go to Lebanon and all that. It's Arak, and they're all the same flavors, but really really delicious. Basically, you garnish it with a Ooh, little bit of. Uh, you can smell the licorice now. Have, is this rosemary? No, that, that, is that? that is dill. Oh, dill. Okay. And I'm just uh, garnish it with a little bit of dill and uh, let it sit for a minute or two. And guess what? This that is, is the final. Oh yeah, it's good. It's a little bit, a little bit warm. It is a little warm, but I got it. This that is look amazing. And you, you're not going anywhere, are you? Nope, Thank not going goodness. anywhere. Because I want I you to stay here. in the studio and cook I am more. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this looks amazing. Real quick, if you'd like to have um, Chef Serge to cater your events, you can head over to his website. It's vibrantoccasionscatering.com. There you can book events, find out more about his business and delicious recipes that you can try in your home. The great thing is these are just some simple ingredients. It's like a seven-minute dish. Like laying it really is a seven-minute dish. A little bit of uh, feta cheese. Your your shrimp is about ready right now. Can you, you tell us um, what you're gonna be cooking up later? Baklava. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're gonna show you Can't how to wait. make baklava. See a lot of smiles. All right, we're gonna be right back with the final look at your forecast. Thanks so much. Thank you.